In this video, we're talking about the term essential traveler, especially as it applies to the U.S.-Mexico border. Check out our video, give you some more details. All right, with the travel bans and restrictions around the United States and around the world, we have a lot of questions coming in about how do you cross the border, especially between the United States and Mexico. So the U.S. consulate in Mexico has issued a travel advisory which specifically addresses the term essential traveler because the border, now you can fly in and out of the United States and Mexico. We have clients that do that all the time. But crossing the actual physical border down in San Ysidro or Brownsville or somewhere else, you need to fit within a category called essential traveler. Now the essential traveler is a category that has a lot of different definitions and I'm going to lay out some of them for you and then give you guys a link in case you want to go check it out because there are a lot of people coming across that border and uh, you want to make sure you qualify before you wait in that line. All right, top two essential travelers are U.S. legal permanent residents and U.S. citizens. If you're a United States citizen, it is hands down you're allowed to come, and come across the border into the United States. Aside from those two categories, you're looking at very specific groups. All right, truckers doing exchange to the United States and Mexico, completely allowed. Medical personnel being assigned to the United States or Mexico to provide assistance in healthcare, allowed. Essential workers in other fields such as agriculture are also allowed to cross the border. Now, of course, if you're an agricultural worker, you've got to have that visa. And you know what I'm talking about, the H-2A or some of those other visas that might be very specific to cross the border. Outside of that, you have uh, diplomatic personnel, military personnel, and sort of a handful of other categories of individuals who can fit. But what really, really matters is it is not, it does not include the B1, B2 or tourist travelers, okay? So that means there's, there's so many people down on the border that have the BCC card, the border crossing card, and they use that for daily crossing, come in and out, they do things like um, shopping, where they visit family and friends, or they, they even engage in um, sort of commerce, right? Selling something, going back and forth. Well, that does not seem to be allowed. Now, there's some exceptions for working in, in, in like an educational institution. I know some people might have a visa, tourist visa for that, but you're gonna have to show you fit into one of the exceptions. <clears throat> you can't just use your tourist visa to enter and exit the United States. So the essential traveler rule, which is in effect right now, is pretty important. If you're coming across the border and you want to exit and enter, definitely look at this list and be prepared to present your reason for coming in and out inside the United States because you can be sure they're going to ask and ask for proof or evidence to support your basis. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hey, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so we can help you with the next question. Take care. Bye.